homicide prosecutor Matt Murphy to break this all down. Uh, you were telling me just a few moments ago that if you were uh, prosecuting this case, you would have charged them with murder, not involuntary manslaughter. Why? This is a horrific case. So this is um, this is what's proceeding under what's known as a gross negligence charge. So involuntary manslaughter in the state of Michigan. Um, Essentially, if you engage in conduct with a disregard for likely harm, that is the standard for, um, for gross negligence. Mm -hmm. In the state of Michigan, there's a concept known as implied malice in Michigan and every other state where if you are so reckless that you disregard the safety of others, um, you can be charged with implied malice murder. And, 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 and let's just, you know, it isn't the buying of the gun that really got people upset at these two parents. It was the fact that the school called the parents in and said and showed them drawings that Ethan had made that were very, very violent uh, with blood dripping and all sorts of, you know, red warning lights were going off. And they asked the parents to take Ethan home. They said, please take your son home. We think he need, he's having a mental health crisis. And they refused. They said, no, I've got to go to work. He's got to stay here. Right. So the... Ethan Crumbly was experiencing um, sort of classic mental illness at home. He said he was seeing demons in the house. The parents knew about all that. They knew they'd bought him this gun. The, the school had no idea. And the school also showed these drawings from his, math, from his math class that showed a drawing of the exact gun. It's a Sig Sauer 9mm mm -hmm. um, with, the, with these words like blood everywhere and a bullet and please help me. Um, it, it's... Any parent that saw that would know at that moment that their son was a danger, and they left the school. They didn't warn the school, and within two hours, he was murdering four kids and shooting seven others. So what do you make of this request that they not show uh, footage from the attack itself, surveillance video? Yeah, that it would so be inflammatory. In California, this is what's known as a 352 argument. And essentially, the court cannot, um, it, they're not going to want to introduce something where the prejudice substantially outweighs the probative value. In other words, the but evidentiary it's, it's, value. But that's what they're charged with. It's a loser, it's, look, it's a loser motion. It's, yeah. and, and the defense is going to go through this so that on appeal, they're not accused of what's known as ineffective assistance of counsel. They're going to go through this. The court may, uh, because this video is apparently very graphic, the court may redact portions of that. The video is coming in, and there are there's two interpretations of the motion. One is that they're trying to exclude the parents, which is going to go nowhere. The other is yeah, the, the video of the parents walking into the school that morning to be told you need to take your son home. Right, and there's and the and the other thing is there's witnesses who actually see the shootings that the prosecution is going to be allowed to introduce. So the defense, I think it's it's a bit of a shot in the dark. This is coming in. This the evidence over in this case is overwhelming, and these parents, I, I think, um, if I had to call it, they're going to be convicted of this. What kind of precedent does that set? Well, a lot of people see this as a Second Amendment case. It is not, okay? This has nothing to do with the Second Amendment. This has no. to do with incredibly negligent parents that disregard the safety of every other kid at that school. And By ignoring th their own son's cry for help. That's right. That, that's what this case is about. Anybody who supports the Second Amendment, if they read the details of this, will be as outraged as everybody else, I guarantee. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.